Well, there is Civ 89, where we've got a little bit more from the set of the monsters. Um, Rob Zombie has been posting a fair amount of stuff to promote it, a lot of um, set pictures, a lot of backstage pictures, and some character pictures. And we have a picture of Lily's brother, the werewolf Lester. Uh, and Rob Zombie said on Rob Zombie Official, casting news straight from the set of the monsters in beautiful downtown Budapest. I give you Lily's werewolf brother, Lester, as played by Thomas Boykin. I am sure many of you may recognize Thomas from his appearance in Three from Hell as Derek Zoom. I don't. A vocal spouting supporter? I don't know what that is. Um, get ready for Lester. He's going to make you howl with laughter. So the thing that strikes me, of course, is the color. Now, he just looks like a werewolf, like a regular werewolf. Um, nothing special there. He might have... It looks like he's he's got a streak. Like, um, his hair almost looks lighter on one side than the other. That might just be lighting, though. But um, he's basically wearing a dinner jacket, a very or ornate, um, very overdone dinner jacket and frills, and he looks very um, gothic and fabulous. But um, what strikes me is the colour. The background is red, and all the front lighting, and he's totally lit in purple or pink. So the extreme colour we're continuing to see in all the set photos and um, behind-the-scenes photos, which is interesting because, of course, The Masters was done in black and white, and people very much associate it with black and white and being very dark. So the idea of them making a sequel with colour and making it really bright is kind of odd because they did a month's one monster's movie during the production of the film, which was colour, uh, during the production of the series, which was in colour, which was fine. Then they did a movie after that in 1980, which was in colour, of course, that was fine. And then they did some other movies with other casts over the years, they were all fine. They did a 1987 or 88 TV series called uh, Monsters Today, that was in colour. So we've seen the monsters in colour before, but yet Rob Zombie's acting like we've never seen colour before. And it's so over the top, it looks like... Um, the 1960s Star Trek on acid, but um, I'm not sure if it's going to be too much. I don't know if this is what the film's actually going to look like after all the final grading is done, or if this is what he's going for, this over-the-top, too bright, um, extreme camp. I don't know. I don't know what he's going for, but it kind of... Part of me is glad he's going for a bold look, because too many films are dark and grim and grey and they have no colour, and it does affect you psychologically when you watch films. Colour affects you, and when you remove colour from films like so many do, and partly it's because of the um, who are trying to save money on the light bulb, the bulbs in the cinema that they use for to light um, the projectors, so they lower them so they last longer, and then you get this grey image which people have to sort of squint to see, which especially with 3D and stuff like that, which needs brighter light, so there's a lot of those issues. So to have a film that's really bright and bold is good, but then the other part of me feels like it's sort of camp and too much, and you won't be able to look at it and take it seriously because it doesn't look at all like the real world. It looks like a cartoon. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm just going to leave it at that. And, I mean, I'm glad we've got another image. He looks good makeup-wise, outfit-wise. I'm just worried about this extreme colour and whether it's going to be... Because sometimes you see films lit and look really bright, and then when you see them actually graded and properly, it calms it down a bit and, mellow, and it sort of um, averages things out a bit and makes a difference. Um, whereas this one, they may bump it up even more, I don't know. But, um, I, I don't know. It's interesting. We'll see. We're a long way away from seeing it. Um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Lester and the, the, the look of the monsters so far from the images that we've seen from Rob and um, the behind-the-scenes stuff. And, yeah, what do you think of the colour and the bright? And does it sort of make up for the monsters being black and white, or does it just... Is it just too jarring because we're used to them, you know, not being so bright? Um, even when they made them in the later films, they didn't have an extreme use of colour or anything. It's not specific to the characters or specific to the story or anything. It just seems to be something he's just done superficially. I don't know. I'm going to go. Bye.